Hi friends, we are back with Chavos Alavavos. We're learning Emuna and Bitachon, Shar Chamishi. We're learning about what it means to really, really have faith according to the books, <coughs> or more like the book, the Torah. Um, oftentimes we think faith is just, you know, just have faith, just have faith. But when we learn about what Emuna really is, it's not faith, it's a muscle. And it's something that you have in your soul. It's a muscle that you have in your soul. It's in Sphere Seketer, because our, our soul is made up of the spheros. It's in Sphere Seketer, which is this concept of emuna. Emuna is something that you, you cultivate, you make it happen for you. And the way it works is that the way you, you, there are two ways to view life. There's one way, which is what you see is what you get, and you react to what comes into your life. And then there's another vision that we can create based on emuna, which means it's almost like the concept of the third eye or the single eye, right, in Kabbalah, where there's one vision, and the vision is that I make sure to filter whatever I see through the filter of truth. The filter of truth means there's Hashem, and Hashem is totally guiding the show, and Hashem is totally doing everything. No one can lift a finger, no one can bat an eyelash, no one can take a single step in any direction, good or bad, without it being willed by Hashem. And so the vision that I create for myself is whatever I see in front of my eyes, whatever is going on for me, whether it's a flat uh, tire, whether it's not having tires in the first place and wanting a car, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, having whatever calamity in whatever uh, shape or form it happens, it doesn't have to be a calamity, but it's the usual day-to-day things that don't work out those things, for us to see those things from an Amuna lens means to see it all and translate it, make sure to translate it, even if it's not natural for you. That's the thing. It's not natural for us, but that's the work. That's how you earn it. That's how you make it work for you. That's how you have Amuna. That's how you have that, uh, that, that power inside of your heart to be able to and how does it happen so you translate the experience of the flat tire of the uh you know not having getting fired not being in a relationship uh uh, uh, i don't know cutting your finger okay whatever it may be you translate that through the lens of thank you hashem you translate that through the lens of gam zu le tova tova na ra'a tova tova and you're, you know, you're, you don't like your Shabbos plans or it's hard for you to do certain things. You're in that moment, you're in that motion, and you're like, why does this have to happen to me? Why is it this way? Don't ask why. Just put yourself in a position, in a motion, and in an energy where you're, you just tell yourself, this is for my best, and this will be good for me. And this is not fun, and it's not hard, and I have a different script in my head, but Hashem knows what He's doing with me. And this is for my best. And you create a space in your heart where you accept the fact that everything that you're going through in your life is for your ultimate growth and for your ultimate best. And nothing is for naught. And everything is an experience for you to evolve and to grow and strengthen yourself and become the better version of yourself. And that doesn't always happen with, you know, with uh, rainbows and, and cherries. Sometimes people have to go through serious stuff. And sometimes people have to go through daily things, okay? And know how to be able to control their impulses. And by doing what? By one single act of practicing emuna and making my vision, translating whatever I see into a positive or not even a positive. This is God's will. And this is for my best. Gam zula tova. Zula tova. This is also for my best. This too, just like it's for my best to go to the supermarket, go shopping, get to the cash register after I picked out everything that I like, pay for it with my credit card, walk out of the store, put it in my car, drive home, put it in my fridge. When all, everything goes right and everything goes according to plan, we see it as, well, a given, right? It's a given that it has to go that way. But when something goes off and I can't get the cart, when I get into the supermarket because not enough and now I have to start waiting or running after people or I can't find parking, all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, what's, why? Because we're coming from the, we're coming already from the notion that, that it's supposed to go X way. And God doesn't, doesn't work according to that cheshven. He doesn't work according to that calculation. He puts us in situations daily, all the time, where we have to understand that once I succumb once I surrender to Hashem's will that 
I thought the best thing for me would not to get a flat tire. I thought the best thing for me would to, you know, to, to get through the supermarket easily. I thought, but obviously this is the best thing for me. The flat tire, the paper cut, the cut in my pay, all of that. This is for my best. Oh, wow. I thought that was for my best. Oh, no, I had the wrong script. I had the wrong idea. And I, the idea is to, to instead of, it's almost like, you know, instead of fighting with Hashem, instead of fighting with Him and saying, how come, how, why me, it's time for us to understand that He's our Father, and literally, there's a plan for every moment of our lives, and nothing is accidental, nothing is accidental, including your days, your time, your minutes, your boredom, your, 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 uh, everything that you're involved in, whatever is going on for you or not going on for you, all of it, all of it is purposeful down to the last moment. So it's, that's Imuna. And the way to create it is to work on your vision. How am I seeing this? How am I experiencing this? How am I going to translate this? I can always translate it the normal way. The idea is not to translate it the normal way. The idea is to translate it the, the way that it is in the Matthias of life. Not in the Matrix. Not, oh, that guy crashed into me. No. Yeah, he was the messenger. He, was, he happened to have been in the... But it was an experience for you to go through. For you to evolve from. For you to experience something. Not always do we also know why we had to go through the things that we go through. But for sure... Things that are harsh, like God forbid, illness. People that are, people that get sick, sickness is comes as a way. It's called machala. Uh, is also achlama. The sickness comes to a person when Hashem wants to wake them up to something. Maybe your habits are off. Maybe you're not taking care of your body. Maybe you're being disrespectful to your body. Maybe you're harming yourself. Maybe you don't see the beauty in yourself and how you can take care of yourself and feel better. And you deserve to feel better. So God comes and gives us these wake up calls. For us to make shifts and motions and movements. It's not bad, the machala, that none of us should have it ever, God forbid, in any way, shape, or form. Right? And illness is not bad per se. It's there as a way to get us to move. As well as every little small to big thing that happens to us in our life. And that is in essence in Muna. You make, you create your vision to be a positive one. You translate it through a positive lens. Okay? Or just through the lens of reality that God is in control here. And you will see how all of a sudden things will turn around for you. As opposed to being upset and frustrated and angry and hurt and, and, and malicious and manipulative and, and back, you know, getting people back and revengeful and all of that. As opposed to taking that route. That route, it's not worth it. And it never helps. And we're ne we never feel good over there. So that's today's lesson. We are going to continue tomorrow with our final Seven, number seven of the seven main differences uh, between a person that does and does not have imuna. I just felt like I needed to give a little bit of a, of a refresher course here on what exactly it means to have uh, imuna and how to get it. It's to all of us. We need it. We need imuna now more than ever.